This demonstration shows how to use Contrail service chaining feature in virtual EPC service LAN use case. All the images used in this demonstration are created using Ubuntu Precise Cloud images and only symbolic representation of VNFs. VNFP Gateway 00 is service chained to the load balancer and load balancer will forward all its traffic to MSP proxy and MSP will forward the traffic to the F5 NAT gateway which is connected to the public network using the route target to the internet. There is a management network providing the management operation and maintenance connectivity and S5VN, SGIVN and VSVN networks. In this next slide we are capturing end-to-end -end flow where all the virtual networks created by the heat are shown with, re with their respective VRFs. VRFs created for this end-to-end -end service chaining has been shown as a dotted line. For the data plane and the for control, control plane, all the uh, signaling is captured in this slide deck and for the compute nodes, MPLS over UDP encapsulation is used between the compute nodes. Now let's move to the heat templates and create a new stack using heat stack create and the stack name we used in this demo is service LAN 01. We are using SGI L3 network heat.yaml and respective parameter file to orchestrate the whole use case for the SGI service VLAN in virtual EPC environment. Now let's check the status of the stack creation using heat stack list command the stack creation process is in progress. Now let's move to the Contrail GUI and see the status of, of our networks. All virtual networks are created and policies attached. Policy definition is also done successfully. Service templates definition is also done successfully and all the service templates are created. Service instance creation is also successful. We can see there is F5 get, uh, gateway 01 instance with one ins service instance. MSP proxy is in high availability mode with two. F5 is with three. And there is P gateway 00. Now let's go to the network topology in OpenStack. The topology is successfully created with the P gateway stitched to S5VN and the other side is connected to the SGIVN which is further connected to the VASVN passing through all its traffic to the load balancer MSP and then firewall gateway send all its traffic to the public internet VN. All the networks are created and the policies are attached. Now let's connect to the P gateway 00. On P gateway 00 there are three subscriber connected uh, from a subnet 200.2.2.0/24. The first is dot one, dot two, and dot three. All are defined as a sub interface on the Ubuntu interface ETH2. We can see from P gateway we can connect to a dot a dot eight, and the pass uh, traffic is passing through. Uh, 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 th through all the service LAN and going to the internet. Now let's connect to the load balancer the first, second and the third. Log into each of the load balancer and then we will capture traffic on the left and the right interface to see how the traffic is passing through when ping is, is in progress on the P gateway 00. zero. From P gateway 00 using subscriber IP address of 200.2.1 we are pinging the public DNS, Google public DNS. Now we will capture traffic on each of the respective left and right interface of the service instance to make sure traffic is passing through the each service instance and the service chain is sending all traffic as per our topology. So the first and second we can see any traffic now on the third uh, load balancer when we started TCP dump on ETH1 the traffic is passing through 
now to make sure traffic is leaving the load balancer we run TCP dump on ETH2 traffic is going out of ETH2 which is the egress interface now let's open the MSP console there are two instances, so we open console for the both MSP logging into the first MSP and kept try to see the uh, capturing traffic on ETH1 on ETH1 there is no traffic let's log in to the second MSP and here we will do TCP dump on the egress left interface we can see traffic is hitting left interface and it should go out to the right interface which is ETH2 that also confirm passing traffic is passing through our second service instance in the chain now let's log in to the last service instance which is firewall gateway NAT here we are using IP tables and NAT rules to NAT all traffic from ETH2 which is 10 13 82 196 public IP on ETH1 the traffic is coming in uh, with the source IP address of 200.2.2.1 and going to the public DNS for the second ETH uh, the traffic is uh, being netted and it is going with the source IP of 10 13 82 196 and the ping is progress end to end that actually conclude from the P gateway how subscriber will send all traffic to internet while the traffic is service chain to the load balancer MSP firewall and now let's try uh, pinging from the third subscriber which is 202.2.3 from the third subscriber the ping is also successful and traffic will pass one of the load balancer instance going back uh, going into the console of each you we can see it is hitting one of the load balancer going out from that now going to the one of the MSP traffic is going out and then the last instance which is the firewall gateway NAT traffic is also being NATed and going out to the internet that concludes the demo and show how you can use contrail networking feature to demonstrate telecom service LAN use case in this demo we use Ubuntu precise modified and customized images but in your lab you can replace those images with respective VNF images and set up end-to-end -end call flow and test it. Thank you.